we're in this mess because society has lost sight of what's most important. What matters most to me is my faith and my family. And I know I'm not the only one who believes that way. So we're joining together as God-fearing men and women to take the light into the darkness. Well, I was able to get a property in southwest Kansas, a private ground, and after I went up and looked at it, I realized it didn't have the cover to hold a lot of deer, but I was excited about getting my Wild Game Innovation cameras out and getting some buck blitz out and just getting an idea of what kind of deer were on this property. I got them out early while the deer were still in velvet, while they were still growing, and I started getting pictures of a buck that looked like it was going to be a really good up-and-comer, uh, good 10-point and he starts hitting the buck blitz every night. I'm getting wild game innovation pictures of him every night, and then all of a sudden, he explodes. In 13 days, this buck puts on 35 inches of antler. Now, if you don't believe that nutrition's important, then these photos kind of blow that out of the water. As you can see, this deer absolutely explodes, puts on an unbelievable amount of growth on his horns, and buck blitz played a huge role in that. 17% protein. These deer love it. Well, the results are right here in these pictures. Well, I was really excited about having the chance to hunt this buck, and I knew it was gonna be a situation where everything would have to be right before I could move in and really hunt this deer. And it was before season, I'm still getting lots of pictures of him, just waiting for season to get here, waiting for the weather to get right. And me and field staff for Brant Hill, we load up, we're gonna go pull our cards, we're going to uh, get some more buck blitz on the ground, and when we pull up to the gate, we make a discovery that broke my heart. Well, folks, we are in Kansas on our lease up here. I got Brant with me, and we just drove by a creek that runs on the neighboring property right next to where we hunt. We know there's a lot of deer that hang out and stay in it. We just saw our big 10. He's been hit by a car, he's dead. We're gonna walk in and look at him. Just absolutely heartbreaking. He's a big buck. Here he is right here. No, he ain't been very long at all, dude. That's him. That's him. Yep, that's him. Gosh dang it, man. I mean, the blood's still fresh. Well, this is my big 10. Fortunately, I'm not in camouflage and have my bow with me. Uh, literally, we're not 200 yards from where our lease is and we got permission to come in here. We saw him dead from the side of the road, got hit by a car literally this morning. This is how my luck has gone, right here. Uh, absolutely heartbreaking to see this deer dead, but this is about how it's gone for me thus far this season. And, you know, I got this lease and I got pictures of this deer in velvet on my wild game innovation camera. And I just thought, you know, here we go. We got him. We've got a great deer. And uh, we're just heating up. He's probably starting to cruise up here in uh, southwest Kansas. 
just heartbreaking. Big bodied animal. So we're going to notify the game warden of it and just see what happens. He's a beautiful deer. I hate to see it end this way with him. But this is a reality. I mean, it's heartbreaking though. Here he is. So, anyway, maybe the good Lord will bring another one by to us out here on this lease. Get a, we can get another one. Just have to see. Hmm. It's heartbreaking. Well, Kansas has become a whitetail hunter's paradise. I mean, the state consistently produces giant bucks. And pro staffer Adam Nicholas has drawn his Kansas tag. He's grabbed fellow pro staffer Michael Harrell. They're headed up to Hill City, Kansas to hunt with Darren Wheeler of Home Run Outfitters. We're two Elkies headed to Pinocchio, Kansas. We've got about five hours left on this drive, so we're going to hook up with Darren and Summer Wheeler of uh, Home Run Outfitters. We've got the World Series going on, so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll hit one out this week. We're looking forward to it. City Kansas with Home Run Outfitters with Darren Wheeler. We sat at this spot the other morning. We haven't sat here in the, in, in the evening yet, so got some butt bullets on the ground. We had a nice three-year-old come in the other night, so we'll see if anything comes in this evening. Pretty big right there. <laughs> he looks pretty big right there. It looks 
Yeah. Pack rat. Little guy's getting with it. He's got to get his business done, don't he? I don't know what he's doing. Come on now. About now, getting angry. Took a step back because it could get dangerous. Well, it's October 31st. It's Halloween. We are in Cottonwood Tree on the edge of this creek. The wind is blowing about 50 miles an hour. It's ridiculous. I don't know how we're going to get this done, but anyway, we're going to get settled in here and hopefully, hopefully one, hopefully a shooter will get on his feet this evening. We haven't, we haven't seen very many shooters, but we saw some this afternoon driving around, so hopefully it'll happen tonight. Happy Halloween. Boy, dad, boy. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gosh, dude. Biggest deer of your life, baby. Thank you, home That's run the biggest deer of my life. I just got to say thanks to Darren, uh, Summer, and Hayden for their hospitality. They've fed me and Mike uh, every day and, and just gone to great lengths for us to be successful. And uh, I just Thank them and thank the good Lord for this blessing. I can't wait to go down there and get my hands on him. This is Adam and Blackbeard in the tree signing out. From Kansas, baby. <laughs> We're gonna play a joke on you, Darren. And it's gonna be awesome.
This is the biggest doe I've ever shot in my life. Oh crap! What? What is that? <laughs> Dude, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh my God. Well, I'm here with uh, Darren Wheeler of Home Run Outdoors and Home Run Outfitters here in Northwest Kansas, and this giant came in tonight. We had three big bucks come in tonight, and that 10 point that came in would have might have outscored this one, but you know what? This is a big mature deer, and this is what you can expect in Northwest Kansas. Just a toad. I want to thank you and your wife, Summer and Hayden, for your hospitality and having us up here. I had a blast. Oh, it's been an awesome, awesome week. Dude, this is the biggest buck of my life. What did we talk about earlier today? <laughs> Halloween day, getting it done. I know. Congratulations, <laughs> man. <laughs> you were scared. I was like, like, what the heck? You did the, uh, you did the whole thing. Uh, Sean said, why do you shoot a doe? I said, because he got a doe tag. You've probably heard it said that a big deer doesn't become a big deer by being stupid. I mean, it takes a lot of work for a buck to reach his full potential. A lot of things have to factor in. I mean, he needs proper nutrition. He has to be good at avoiding danger. I mean, that's a must. All of that has to take place for that deer to reach his full potential. You know, for us to reach spiritual maturity, a lot of the same things come into play. I mean, we need proper nutrition, and spiritually speaking, that's reading God's Word, praying, going to church. All those things are going to give you the proper nutrition you need to reach spiritual maturity. But we also have to avoid danger. We have to realize that Satan is real and that he's out there throwing temptations at us, and we have to do the best we can to avoid them. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2 says that I fed you milk, not solid food, because you weren't ready for it. And even today, you're still not ready for it. You know, I think this is a passage that's a great challenge to us to ask ourselves, am I doing the things that I need to be doing to reach spiritual maturity? Am I reading God's Word, studying it? Am I praying? Am I going to church? Maybe you're saying, well, I don't go to church because, well, the church is full of hypocrites. I hear that all the time. And I always tell people, if you ever find the perfect church, don't join it because if you do, you'll ruin it. The reason the church is flawed is because we're in it and we're flawed people. But I understand that to reach full spiritual maturity, the church is really important. So today, are you doing the things you need to be doing to reach true spiritual maturity? Are you reading your Bible? Are you studying God's Word? Are you going to church? All those things are so crucial for you to reach true spiritual maturity. So today, we want to know how we can help you in that. Go to our Facebook page or Twitter or go to our website and shoot us an email. We want to know how we can encourage you in your striving towards spiritual maturity.